From the Center for the Art Studio, this is your AUTV News Break. I'm Kid Krakus. Thanks for tuning in. In state news, the Ohio State Highway Patrol released its initial report on the Licking County crash involving a charter bus from the Tuscarawas Valley High School earlier this month. According to News 5 Cleveland, the OSHP report indicates five vehicles, including two semi-tractor trailers, being involved in the chain reaction crash. According to dash cam video, all vehicles were in a line and slowing for traffic flow when the semi at the tail end of the five vehicle lineup struck the SUV in front of it, pushing it into the back of the charter bus and forcing a chain reaction collision in vehicle fires. A total of six people were killed and over 15 people were hospitalized with injuries. Neither road conditions nor alcohol or drugs appear to be factors in the incident, which remains under investigation by the NTSB. The first ever science park on Earth will be built just north of Ohio State University Airport near Columbus, Ohio. A 10-acre plot of land in northwest Columbus has been designated to be the host site of an earthly replica of the George Washington Carver Space Park. This past Thursday, Ohio State's Board of Trustees approved a 40-year lease for the property to construct the terrestrial space lab. The lab is expected to help benefit Ohio's agriculture as well with the study of water preservation, crop genetics and production efficiency, and animal health. And lastly, in national news, South Carolina attorney Alex Murdaugh was sentenced to 27 years for financial fraud on Tuesday. According to the Associated Press, former clients and victims confronted Murdaugh in court on Tuesday as he was sentenced to 27 years in prison for stealing approximately $12 million. State prosecutors and defense lawyers negotiated Murdaugh's sentence as he is already serving a life term without parole after he was found guilty of killing his wife and son in June of 2021. Murdaugh was initially charged with 101 financial crimes involving 18 victims. However, under the plea deal, the number was reduced to 22 crimes against each of his clients. And now let's take a look at our five-day weather forecast here in Ashland, Ohio. Today is sunny with a high of 37 and a low of 17. Thursday is partly cloudy with a high of 47 and a low of 30. We'll keep the slightly cold temperatures on Friday with a high of 44 and potential rain. Saturday and Sunday, we will stick with the cloudy skies with temperatures sitting around the mid to upper 40s. And that is all for your AUTV news break. Be sure to follow us across social media at AUTV. I'm Kate Krakus. Thanks for watching.